So over the weekend, I had a, a problem come up that um, shows up periodically, and that has to, particularly in the linked data tools, um, and that has to do with um, uh, linked data services that are that aren't available. They're down for whatever reason, um, or the latency involved is causing things to time out. Uh, this weekend, it was um, the Library of Congress. Most of their services had been down um, or unavailable periodically over long stretches since about Thursday. And so um, in order to make it more apparent what's going on, I've added to the application within the linked data um, portions of the application the ability to um, check the service status of the individual linked data services that it will be querying. Um, the reason why you don't see this when you run, say, for example, the validate headings is because the tool's working with um, likely batch resources rather than um, fault the application or um, have the application stop on the first service that it runs across that's not working, um, it will essentially suppress that 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 query and just note the item is not being being able to be found. Um, this is partly because the tool searches lots of different services, and so um, if one service didn't work and having it break on a on an individual service being unavailable, it would be. Um, it would be unfortunate because it would the tool would always be stopping because it seems like these services are some services always up or down. Uh, so enable to be able to so so you so users can actually check and see um, which services are working and which ones aren't. Um, underneath the validate headings area, you'll now find a place that says service status. And if you run that, the tool will go through and it will look and try and ping each of these individual services and we'll let you know if they're online or not. Um, the only one I'm having some trouble with right now is fast. It's partly because the fast service um, assumes um, kind of a, um, uh, uh, like an auto suggest style service. And since that's not what I'm doing, um, the results right now are coming back with um, blank results, even though it is sending a return. So I'm, I just need to tweak the, the, the um, ping um, offerings a little bit so that it understands what's coming back. Right now it understands it as, as being down, but it, in reality it's there and I just need to change how that how that um, return service. But you can see that these are all online, so if I was working with the tool today I could see that um, there weren't any problems. Where am I getting this list from? Um, Mark edit in the add-ins um, has a place where you can edit the rules file. The rules file is the file where Mark edit gets um, all of its information about linked data services. Um, here's the rules file. Um, I think people have seen this before. This is where the values are defined um, so that MarkEdit knows which fields and subfields to use. And if you go to the bottom of the file, um, you can find the collections block where the individual collections and URIs are defined. The service status shows up in a lot of different places. Um, you'll find it in the link identifiers. There is a new button here, service status, which you can click on and run and get the same information. Um, this way, if you're in this screen and need to check, you can check here. Um, likewise, if you're in the mark editor and you select um, the validate headings under the report, um, you will find the link there for service status and get the exact same information. So lots of different places, depending on where you're running it, where you can get that information about why something may or may not be working, or if you just want to check service status before you um, go about um, harvesting or attempting to harvest data via a linked data service. If you have questions, let me know.